All right, guys, happy Monday, October 7th. I am coming to you feeling really, really good. You guys feeling excited. And I want to update you on a couple of things because I want you guys to hear it directly from me. Um, I cannot exercise. I cannot exercise for three months. Now, if you know me, exercise is a big part of who I am. It's a part of my identity. It helps me to revive myself. I preach that all the time here because I know the importance of it. And I will still preach it here even if I have to be on the sidelines. So I got a CAT scan a couple of weeks ago. I have what is called an abdominal wall strain. And so I do not, ordered by the doctor, uh, I am not allowed to do anything physical for three months. Now, I said, doctor, I can't stomach that. I'm not okay with that. You got to help me out here. So she's like, I'm going to put you in physical therapy. So next week I start physical therapy. And my hope is that they give me some exercises that I can do that I can, you know, at least two days a week or three days a week. I'm in physical therapy with their guidance. I can do exercises because your boy cannot sit still for three months. And so um, it's tough. And I'm still going to go and try to sweat and go to the sauna. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a transition for me. However, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all I right. I got a question. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> like, can you go for a walk? Can you do some not yoga? Yet. <laughs> not yet. So so anything that activates the core, uh, she said, not yet. Wow. Not yet. She told me do nothing. And I lobbied and lobbied and lobbied for uh, for physical therapy. And so I got physical therapy and I start that next week. And so fingers crossed that I could actually do something. Yeah. So it's very tough. It's very tough. However, I still feel good. I still feel really, really good. I still feel super, super healthy, been adjusting some things that I'm eating, but I just had to share that with you. So if you don't see any workout videos or me at the gym or me on crazy walks, runs, whatever the case is, it's because I cannot for three months, but I thought I'd share that with you guys. But let's go ahead and get rolling. I'm going to look around the screen and I'm going to have somebody bring us out on the field on this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. Otis, are you in a stationary place or are you driving? I think I see you. All right, Otis, I'm going to turn the mic over to you. I'm going to have you bring us out on the field on this beautiful Monday morning. So hit him with the sentiment for the morning. Appreciate it, big dog. Well, it's Monday. I know we're like on the last day uh, of this heat cycle. So please, everybody, drink tons of water. I've seen a lot of people go down. Um, even at the game yesterday, I didn't go, but I've seen a lot of my friends like totally tore up. So please drink water. I know we're out there serving our clients at the best, but you got to take care of yourself first and foremost so you can take care of everybody else. Um, it is the beginning of the week for some people, but I know it's a lot of you guys that's been out this week showing homes, nestle down, send those reports, look over everything and be ready to write some contracts this week. We need to really finish the last quarter strong. Um, we can't be that number one team if we're not going to keep knocking on that door. So work your ass off, do what you need to do. There's plenty of people on this team. If you need any help, any advice for lean on it, lean on this team. It's a beautiful team. So everybody let's stay focused and let's start this week off right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to share something with you. I saw this. I thought it was really, really powerful. And I want to slow down and just share this with everybody. The difference between interested and committed is the difference between a contender and a champion. And let me say that one more time for the people in the back of the room. The difference between interested and committed is the difference between a contender and a champion. Interested versus committed. When you are committed, you find a way. When you are interested, you find an excuse. So let me let Luis in. All right, let's continue this on. I got three people in the waiting room. Let me let them in as well. All right, cool, cool. When you are committed, you do whatever it takes. When you are interested, you do whatever is convenient. Okay, stay with me, you guys. When you are committed, you do it consistently. When you are interested, you do it occasionally. When you are committed, you are accountable. When you are interested, you cast blame. Jeez. Ask yourself, are you truly committed or are you merely just interested? Discipline and commitment never fail. I saw this, you guys, and it resonated with me. I don't know about you, but that resonates. And you got to have yourself a very serious conversation and ask yourself. And the way that you evaluate this and the way that you look at this is you have to ask yourself, based on my activities, 
am I truly, truly committed to this game or am I just kind of interested in doing this and I'm not all in? And based on the activities that so we'll show you, and listen, even if the activities haven't showed up in the form of monetary compensation, hasn't showed up in the form of commission just yet, but all the activities show how committed that you truly are to this game. And you have to ask yourself that, am I committed to this or am I merely just interested? And here's the thing, you guys, you all have goals. And I support your goals, but the goals are the lagging indicator. That is six months out, three months out, whatever that is. That's a year out. That is the lagging indicator. All of the leading indicators are all the things that you're doing on the daily, all the things that you're doing throughout the week, throughout the month. That's the leading indicator. That shows you that you're committed to the lagging indicator. So you have to ask yourself right now. Are you committed? Or are you merely just interested? Now, you can answer that question here or you can just sit with it. But you have to ask yourself that question. And if you're just interested in this business, do you think that your consumers are committed to becoming homeowners and creating wealth for their family and doing something bigger for their generation? I'm sure they are. So if they're committed to making an impact for their family and you're just diddly dallying around and you're just kind of interested and maybe you want to do real estate today, tomorrow you may not want to do, but today you feel like it, that's not committed and you owe your consumers a bigger level of responsibility and commitment. If their true desires to want to build something for their families, if you're building something for your family, then your commitment is going to be evident. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that was really, really powerful. Before we get rolling, any thoughts, any sentiment, anybody want to share anything on that thread? Going once, going twice. All right. I saw a little hand like that. I think it was blessing. Let's go. And if you guys do have a contribution, go ahead and throw your hand up with the icon button down below. Go ahead. Blessing. Good morning. Sorry, I'm moving a little slow, but um, that is, it's so counterintuitive sometimes when we think about how to actually be successful at this, being committed and following the leading behaviors and not just looking at the results creates a shift in the way you look at how you're showing up every day. Cause the only thing that we can control is how we show up. And if just like you were, you know, getting to the point, if we're committed to doing it every day, we're actually trying to attract the same thing. So we're going to get those committed consumers. We're going to get the ones that don't want to waste our time that are going to move in the direction of home ownership. If we're committed, if we're just out here, I'm going to do it whenever I feel like it, or, you know, I'm going to show up whenever we're going to get those clients that are going to exhaust us. And then we're going to be chasing them around, trying to get them to respond, trying to get them to go see a house. Like we're going to continue to like try to get them engaged because we're not serious. So if we really want to grow in this, we just have to have the committed mindset and know that we can't focus on the end result. We just have to control the thing that we, how we show up every day. Yeah, well said, well said. You know, here's the thing, you guys, people can see it, right? I can see it, your consumers can see it. You're not fronting and you're not hiding anything, right? Like if you choose not to be committed in this industry, your family will 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 pay the price, right? Your bank account will pay the price. You not having the freedom of choice, you're going to pay that price. That's on your shoulders, right? And and when you're fully in and when you're committed to impacting the lives of the people around you, that is a constant affair. That's not a once in a while thing. People are going to feel that and they're going to see that. And so we're going to get into that conversation in just a moment. But before we get rolling, you guys, man, thank you, Blessing. And Blessing, by the way, are you still on 75 Day Hard? Absolutely. Today's day 13. All right, let's give her some love. Let's give her some light. We know how hard that shit is. It's a kick in the pants every single day. So congratulations to you. It is a, it is a struggle, but I promise you, once you get past 35, 40, you're like, ooh, I am, I can see the end zone. <laughs> I've already decided the there's not a there's not a chance that I restart at this point. It was so freaking hard to restart after day four. I, I'm not, I have to finish this. I ref, I absolutely refuse to go through that learning curve because that's the worst part. I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but that's the worst part is just like, I thought my self-talk was negative before, but like to realize like it was within my control to do this and just to fall off. I'm not doing that again. This is too hard to keep going back. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, you guys, if you ever see Blessing or if you see her on social, 
give her the words of encouragement, maybe send her a quick message like, hey, you know, I'm here for support if you need it. But uh, let's all do our very, very best to be in her corner. Let's do this. I'd like to hear some wins from last week. I know that you guys were out there writing contracts, getting contracts accepted, getting new uh, listings. Um, would love to hear from you guys new wins, or maybe it was a physical fitness win, or maybe it was a mental health win, whatever it is, you guys. I'd like to get three to five people involved in that conversation about wins. Who'd like to share a win from last week? Jakara, let's start us off, right? Otis, and then I need at least three more people. Okay, cool, Pat. Cool, let's load it up. Awesome. Oh, look at that. I got a whole top line of, of hands up. Let's go, Jakara. Uh, I started my morning out with Jakara at 7 a.m. Thank you. Let's go, Jakara. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, So my win this week wasn't huge, but it was big for me because I got out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm naturally a shy person, but I found an accountability partner um, and then also just went to the office, the, uh, the Jack London office. So I went there, got some stuff done, stayed there for some time. And then I went ahead and posted some reels this week, finally, which is another out of my comfort zone. So did that, um, kind of created like what I wanted to talk about because I wanted to go ahead and do like a little like Instagram chain of like investment topics um, for my reels. So started that, it's going well. One video looks better than the other, but whatever. Just did it anyway, despite that. Um, but yeah, so that was my one this week. Um, just out of my comfort zone. I love this. I love this. I do have to ask. I I see, I see two accounts here. Is there a reason why you have two accounts? So the other one was initially gonna be like separate from our personal, but then I was like, mm, we're just gonna merge it, and so I don't use the other one anymore. I'm I don't know how to delete it. I have to like figure that out. I'm a little slow okay. There, all right, but it, it's all good. And, and just you know, to give you some feedback here. You guys, obviously, we all have to start somewhere. This is a big, big win for her. Some of you have been creating content for some time. However, you guys started out with no followers and no video content at one time. And when I look at this, this has been your best performing reel. It's already at 635 plays and 53 loves. So like just starting somewhere. And that should give you the encouragement to say, you know what, something's working. And I love how you said, I'm going to do this series. This is ways to invest. This is another investment. So, you know, hats off to you. Hats off for you. Because raise your hand if you've been on this call or if you're on this call and you've gotten over the hurdle of I'm going to get my ass on camera. Please raise your hand if you've gotten over that hurdle. Right. Hey, it's, it's a struggle bus for a lot of us. Right. It's a struggle bus. We all started out with no content at one time. So kudos light energy positivity to you i love that win for you let's go otis and then we'll go pat and then jessica you'll be on deck and then on through i got business and personal uh business after like probably three weeks now ago me and jacob probably could have had like five deals in some unethical agents just a bunch of bs but you know took some time out uh one of the biggest things uh was really diving into the follow-up game so this week looking to probably put four maybe five in with the list one of those being a listen agreement um so just really proud about getting back on the horse um definitely want to finish the year strong personally i'm on day 22 of no smoking any weed and if anybody knows me like i'm like the biggest pothead ever um it's crazy because in october it's like really hard for my family i've lost four of my first cousins and my brother Next week will be uh, 11 years without my brother. And it's probably one of the biggest things that helped change me as a person. But, you know, that emotional baggage is always there. But this is the first time in 11 years that I've been sober and I've been able to really think about, you know, although this is usually the month that's really dragging me down and I just really fall into the shell and just let go and just be in full of depression mode. I'm, I'm kicking his ass and not letting depression kick my ass. So I'm really proud about that. Um, and I don't even really have the urge. I, I think about it here and now and then about wanting to go puff something, but I don't even have the urge. So it's really huge for me. I'm dreaming better. I mean, I've never even remembered to dream up until the last couple of weeks. So just really feeling good. The energy's there. Uh, I, I get you, Elias, about the not working out, you know, the Achilles and then this badass sciatica for the last two months. So being able to walk and go into the gym and lift some weights this past week was like everything to me. So just all around feeling good, man. I'm sending you so much love and light right now. And yeah, if you guys know anything about Otis, that's his thing. 
You know, we all have our thing and, and not saying it's been negative for him, but, you know, the fact that he's going to cleanse his body and have even more clarity, man, I, I, I appreciate that, especially going in a time where it's challenging for you emotionally, like you're deciding to say, you know, whatever comes at me, I'm going to feel every single emotion and I'm not going to numb anything. That's a powerful, powerful move. So congratulations to you and congratulations on all the business that you have going right now. So great job. Let's go, Pat. And then we'll go, Jessica, then go, Anthu, and then we will, Anthu, and then we'll uh, shift gears. Let's go, Pat. Pat, and why weren't you run the, running the half marathon this weekend? Oh, that was a half marathon? I didn't know. Yeah, with, with David <laughs> and, and Mark. Oh, no, no, I, just, I was just by myself solo, you know, I woke up on a Monday okay. motivated, you know, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> no, with that though, hey, hey, uh, Otis, kudos to you, man, I know, I know it's tough, you know, as, as, as a person that battled depression myself back then, I know how tough it is, and, and man, I just, it's admirable for you to take another steep uh, step forward into sobriety as well, so that's, that's, that's very um, admirable. Um, as for me, though, wins on the weekend, I, I, connected i started doing this video emails you know with the dub and doing a little um you know uh summary and that really is a, is a good reciprocation with the with the newer clients and leads we have a good business intimacy building on so with that um you know i have, i'm potentially writing an offer today for a 2.5 um in san francisco and on the sunday i took this uh open house all the way to morgan hill and i'm, I'm in delhi city so that's like an hour and something trek right but, you know, it's a 2.3. They don't want to do it. But, hey, fuck it. I got to get out of my way if I want to get paid. So I went out there. And, I mean, I met these uh, this, this lovely couple. It's uh, they, they wanted to buy the house. So today I'm going to have a meeting with them. And I'm going to write an offer for a 2.3 in Morgan Hill. So here we go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I love it. And, and, you know, Patrick, don't go too far. I, I want to share something with you. Patrick. You know, we, we always say champions run towards accountability. They don't run away from accountability. You know, champion says, raise my hand, raises their hand and says, please evaluate my tape and help me get better. And a contender, like I shared in that quote, is the one that says, it's everyone else. It's the market. It's all the conditions. It's everything else why I'm not succeeding. Instead of taking personal, ruthless accountability for whatever it is that we are doing in this game, it is our fault. And the moment that you realize that is the moment that you grow. And so Patrick, every single week, he has been scheduling a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. Now, here's what's cool about this, you guys. I want to congratulate you if you are on this call and you've been using Follow-Up Boss to make your prospecting calls, consumer calls, calls with your you know, for negotiations to the listing agent. Since we launched this program, and I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go all time. Since we launched this program, we've been able to record 2,200, 2,235 calls. What this allows me as a coach to do is it allows me to really dive deep into nuances and patterns and words that you're saying that are not serving your presentation or that are truly, truly serving your presentation. And so if you're somebody that is making calls through Follow Up Boss and you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, I want to encourage you guys to do that. Get on my calendar, calleliasestudio.com. What we're going to do is we're going to literally listen to calls together. We're going to pause and I'm going to be like, what did you hear yourself say in that moment? And what would you say differently? This is going to be the one of the best ways for us to help you. And, and Patrick, on that thread, big dog, how have you grown over the last three weeks? Like, what have you what skills have you developed or what have you heard from yourself that you're eliminating or keeping? Tell us a little feedback on that, man, because it's been amazing watching you grow. Oh, man, thank you. Thank you for that, especially hearing from you. Um, I think the progression is really, it's just exponential. You know, the first three weeks, I was kind of in a rut. It's like, this is not for me. I don't I don't know how to talk properly. I'm not, I'm not as slick as Elias, you know. I mean, I know he says that I can, you know, think about this and that but i i'm not i'm not even thinking about it so but that fourth week when you when you told me again it just just imagine yourself you're you're what are you a wu-tang you're a wordsmith you're shaolin and that that really struck to me and that's what's powerful about you as a coach and i feel like you can just relate so to to the person you're teaching and that's keeping that in mind and focusing on the pauses and and all the other things that you taught me it's just i'm so confident in just talking to somebody there's no one here I don't believe there's anyone that I I cannot talk to nowadays, you know, and not get anything done. So that's the power of coaching. 
Man, you know what the power is? Just making the calls through follow-up box because now that says, I got all this data. And the data, the remember what I said last week, you guys, the conclusion of the data is more significant than the actual compiling of the data, right? The conclusion is I got some really good data that I can improve. I could eliminate these words. I could work on my flow. I could work on my cadence. I could ask better questions. And so you guys, I want to encourage you. If you have any calls recorded in follow-up boss right now, book a coaching call with me. And I promise you, if you don't walk away from that session with one positive thing that will help you book more appointments, then don't ever get on a coaching session with me again. That's my promise to you guys. That's my promise. And it's a bold statement. Let's go to Jessica. Patrick, I appreciate your contribution. Let's go, Jessica. Good morning, everyone. Um, one of my major wins from last week is that Jen and I had a listing go live. So if you have a buyer looking in the restaurant annex, let me know. Um, yeah, so that's one of my major wins. Another major win is that one of my previous buyers who got cold feet started looking for homes again. So I'm super excited to help them out. And yeah, those are two. I love it. I love it. I love that you're partnering with Jen. I, mean, I think that you'll learn so much because she has listed so many homes and had so much success. But I, I just want to ask you from like a consumer standpoint, what makes the annex so special and why are the prices so much higher in, in the annex versus like general Richmond? What is it about the annex? Yeah. So um, at the Richmond Annex, uh, you're able to have your children go to El Cerrito District Schools. So that's uh, why the Richmond Annex is so desirable for families. And it's also a really quiet neighborhood, um, really friendly. I went door knocking on Saturday and invited a lot of neighbors and a lot of neighbors vouched for the neighborhood. Oh, I love that. I love that. So if you can drop the listing uh, link down below, we, you know, I'm sure someone on this call has a buyer that may be interested, but I love that win for you. Let's go on through and then we'll go Kelly Kelly and then we'll shift gears in the conversation. Um, hi guys. Um, my win this weekend was I actually got to host in this really exclusive neighborhood gated community in Alameda. It's actually Harbor Island or something like that. And what amazing is that there are only 55 properties uh, in this gated community and I door knocked all of them. And it's this beautiful, quiet neighborhood. I talk because it's gated, the neighbors, the neighbors actually opened their doors and I talked to many of them. And I posted online and of course, one of my girlfriends who I went to design school with lived in that neighborhood at one point and her best friend lives in there. So she told me, whenever you wanna go into the neighborhood and say hello to neighbors again, let her know and she will connect me with her friends. And I thought that was one of the biggest win because I mean, it's so exclusive that we're having a hard time in Alameda because of Kat, I can't remember her last name, but she like rules Alameda. And so getting the, the code to this neighborhood was just something amazing and got to connect with an old friend and getting more into that neighborhood is what I want to do when I want to learn more about Alameda. So that was like amazing connection and thanks to IG. Love I, I love it because even though this person is your friend, you're probably not calling her and saying, oh my God, this is where I'm going to be. No, she saw your story, power of video and said, hey, if you ever want to come back, I got the plug. Now you got a VIP pass into a market that people are more receptible because in order to get through those, those gates, it takes you knowing somebody. So like you said, they're going to be more receptive to having a conversation with you. That is a major, major win for you. So I'm super, super excited for you and can't wait to see even more content coming out of there. Let's go Kelly Kelly. And then if anybody else wants to contribute. Hello, one of my bigger wins is finally getting an offer on the Vallejo property that I have for sale and you know, and suddenly there's been more people interested in, in talking about writing offers. So that's exciting. I got another listing. So I'm a listing agent now, but I'm writing two offers for um, buyers today too, with um, other agents that I shared these leads with. So uh, yeah, I'm just like, um, you know how real estate can be, but <laughs> 
it's fun. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I love this. You guys, what's one thing that, that Kelly Kelly has said right now that stood out to you? Anything you guys heard, something stood out to me that was really powerful. She's a now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. And, and listen, Kelly Kelly, you know, recently graduated out of her advisee advisor agreement. You know, she is hustling. I think that she's been at three of the last four hustlers lunch. So she's doing all the activities and she's like, I'm going to be there and I'm going to be on that stage and I'm going to get these accolades and I'm going to be a listing agent. And now I am a listing agent. Really, really cool to see. So congrats on all of your wins. Uh, huge shout out to you. I'm going to turn it over to Stephanie. And Ashley, I'm going to actually have you take over for one quick second. I'm going to close this garage because I don't want it open because I'm the only one here. So uh, Stephanie, go ahead. Morning, guys. So I had a huge win this weekend. Um, I did an event with the Central Valley Realist Association. Um, it was absolutely amazing. It was a community wealth building event. So I was asked to come speak about down payment assistance in grants. So it was an event that was geared towards um, helping the community to create uh, black wealth. So it was a lot of community members. It was so cool. I made really good connections there. There was financial advisors. They had business development um, advisors there. There were entrepreneurs. It was a panel of people. It was a really amazing event. Like I love, if you know me, down payment assistance and grants, like that's my thing, right? Like I use them personally, it changed my life. I'm a huge advocate for them. So getting out there and being able just to kind of share my knowledge on that, it was it was amazing. And I made some really good connections. One of which is um, the financial advisor who's gonna be on the radio this Tuesday. So I gave her a bunch of flyers and stuff to talk about all the different assistant programs that there are. And their mission is to help um, the black and brown community create wealth, right? Because, and especially in the Central Valley, like we didn't have that many attendees, but there was a lot of vendors there. And so I made a lot of connections with them and they were saying how, you know, in the Central Valley, it's very hard to get people out there because they're just not, it, it's just different, right? Like if that event was in the Bay Area, they would have had a full house, but it was in the Central Valley and there wasn't. So I told them like, you guys just got to keep putting these on. So I made a lot of connections and we're going to do another one in a month. So it was amazing. And I'm super happy. Oh, I just missed the first part of the, or the most of it, but where was the event? Sorry. It was in the Central Valley. So it was in Stockton. It was with the Central Valley Realist Association. Have you guys ever heard of them? Cause I had never heard of them. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm from Brentwood. So I hadn't heard of them. And then when they were talking, they were telling us, they said, well, we call ourselves the realists because in the sixties, uh, they couldn't call themselves realtors, right? African Americans couldn't call themselves realtors. They had to be called realists. And so that's how they created the association. I was like, wow. It's like mind boggling. It's my yeah. mind. I know that whole story. Like, uh, it, it's just, it's wild. So Yes. And here's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe we can collaborate on this. I've been wanting to do an event at the at the Welcome Center at River Islands and, and they rent that out. And so I, I'm going to go and walk over there this week and see about renting it out. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to get Shannon Deloso, Sharon, Sharon Deloso, what a Sharon, the Deloso family. I'd like to do a discussion with them about the economic impact that River Islands is having and bring some key people and do some lunch, do some networking, and then maybe have a small little mastermind at my house because it's directly across the street. But let's talk, Stephanie. I think that there's something cool that we I think Central Valley needs more of us. They yeah. just need more of us that are active in this game and doing co cool things because some of the Central Valley stuff is boring uh, just because it's, I don't know, they're there's a little bit boring. Some of the events I've been to are boring. So let's bring some excitement, some fun and some, uh, some energy, but I uh, love it, Stephanie. All right, guys, really, really great wins. I appreciate all of the wins sharing. I'm going to pull up my screen. I have something for you, uh, but I'm going to be excited to see who books a appointment with me for coaching. What I wanted to do before we get into this, I wanted to say thank you. I got quite a few inquiries last week from you guys about things that you would like to see on the agenda for group coaching. And the way that we get better 2.0 for Keep It Moving is that you guys continue to fill this out. So Judith, if you can, drop that link again one more time. Um, this person said, I would like to have a book that we are reading, either business related, health related, or self-improvement. I think that would be cool. And so I just wanted to throw this out there. 
if we were to all read a book and like actually commit to reading the book, and if you want to listen to it on Audible, okay, <laughs> all right, I'm not going to make that that rule, I'm, you know. But would you guys be down with that? If like we, like I see Ninja Sound, if like we collectively, club? yeah, yeah, like a book club. I guess that's what it called. it's called. I've never been a part of a book club. But if we said this is the sales book that we're reading or this is the psychology book or this is the mindset book that we're reading for this month, would you guys be down with that? Would you participate in that? Yeah. And then we could do takeaways from the book and be like, OK, cool. What'd you learn? I just think that it would be really, really cool for this space. Also, I wanted to propose something that I've never done before. Once again, I'm thinking about 2.0 and I want to look at the calendar here and I will let Melody back in. Here's what I want to propose. Now, I know people are traveling and I know people are going on the road, but what I want to propose is I want to propose this week between the first or so the second, the fourth or the sixth. I would like to do a keep it moving in person. Uh, we could do it at Hayward or we could do it here in Oakland just to, you know, put us all in the place where most of the people are going to be coming from now. I'd love to be able to do it at other locations, but I think Hayward or Oakland would probably be the best location. If we were to do that, would you guys be down to come to an in-person, keep it moving group coaching session? I got to get your feedback on this because I'm not going to throw a coaching session and no one comes. Will it be at 8.30? Of course, the same time, the same time. We won't deviate from it. We'll probably stay a little bit longer, right? Because we're going to be there. We're going to be socializing. But yeah, I, I will stick to the 8.30 to 9.30 and then leave some room for socialization afterwards. So if you guys are down, I want to start planning that. And maybe that will be the session where I lean on you guys to provide, you know, a quick presentation, some key takeaways, things that you're doing right now, whether it's your newsletter, whether it's your cadence, your flow, your follow-up boss, whatever it is. Maybe that's the session that I lean to you guys. We'll open up the room the same way. We'll do wins. We'll do contributions. We'll do hands up. We'll have some fun, but it will all be in person. Also in December, we're going to be hitting the road. Kenny and I are going to do a really, really cool series of events. So it's called Jingle and Mingle. So for every single day from the second to the sixth, we are going to be at an office close to you. We're going to be there to have some fun with you, to take you to dinner if you're part of that particular office. So we're going to be out there with our sleigh, spreading joy and excitement for you guys. And so I'm super excited about what's on the horizon. But like I said, I'm already thinking big picture. What can we do? And so more information to come on that. But I would love to have you guys all in person for our very first ever Keep It Moving group coaching in person. But let's do this. I'm going to pull this up. And I obviously, we've gone through some of our wins. And this is where we're going to go to the board. So this part, if you're new to coaching, is where we literally go to the board with our numbers. And the only thing that fits in the box is our numbers. No excuses, no bullshit, no stories. I don't want to hear that. You're either a champion or you're, you're a contender. And on this call, we play like champions. But I have a question for you. What action can you take this week to serve others beyond the transaction that will truly amplify your influence in your audience? to your audience, I should have put to your audience. And, and here's why I wanna share this with you guys. And this is what I want you to think about. It is far past the transaction, what we do. I watched the video from John Sheplak last night and I was super, super inspired by it. It is far past the transaction, what we do. Each of you have the ability to impact other people in multiple different verticals before they even decide to transact with you. You have an ability to get them to believe you or believe in you before they do a transaction with you. And so what you have to think about is it's Monday morning. What can I do to go out there and impact the lives of other people to furthermore believe, get the belief that I'm the one that can help them with their real estate goals? And ask yourself that. It is Monday morning. How can I put, what am I going to put in my newsletter today? What am I going to post on social this week? What am I going to post on LinkedIn? What type of email am I going to put out to the consumers addressing what's happening in the real estate market, addressing how they're feeling, addressing about the fall season, how buyer demand is up, whatever it is. But how can I create a message 
and blast that on multiple verticals that shows people that I'm here to help them impact their lives. Has nothing to do with me. Here's information, here's data, here's facts, here's figures, here's what's going on in the area. Here's the best places to go for your pumpkin patches, fall festivals. Here's the best places to go trick or treating and it's probably Alameda, but I'm just saying. But what I want you guys to do is I really want you to think about this. How can I amplify my influence and how can I speak to my audience and bring them something that is going to impact their life without even doing a transaction with me, right? Without even doing a transaction. The goal is, is how can I go out and impact somebody today? Well, you all have the ability to do that. You could create a video right now, Jessica, that touch somebody in a way that they've never even met you. And then you connect with that person They're like Jessica, I saw your video and it really resonated with me and it impacted me and it spoke to me. And that's why I'm reaching out to you. You all have the ability to do that. You can write a very simple email that elicits thought, that provokes emotion, that gets people to say, wow, she's right. I'm not alone in this journey. I can do this. Thank you for that. I needed that. So think about how you can go and impact somebody today and what action can you take this week to serve others beyond the transaction and truly amplify your influence. And I want you to sit with that for a moment. How am I going to impact the life of someone else today? And it goes with the, the first question, like, how am I going to do that? It is very simple. You all have the same exact tools. There's not a single person on here that has different tools. What you find is that there's some people on the call that use those tools and are more resourceful than you, right? But they're no different than you. They're just using what they have available to them. Their phone, the booth, their newsletter, the, the Zoom rooms, they all have the same exact tools and abilities as you, but some are just a little bit more resourceful. And what I want to do is I want to fucking challenge everybody. I want to challenge you. If you're this person, you're like me, and you like to write, or you like to listen, or you go to events, or you come to a coaching, whatever it is, if you have an idea, if you have something that is brewing, whether it's an interview with somebody, I want to be on a podcast, I want to do this event in my neighborhood, whatever it is, just put it on the calendar and just find a way to execute it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just find a way to go and execute. And I promise you, great things will come from that. Another question for you. What information are you providing your audience about the fall season? And I spoke about this, but I really wanted to be on the screen so you guys can, you know, really dive into this. You know, fall festivals, pumpkin patches, best places to trick or treat, fall photo spots, et cetera. This is a time where you could provide some really, really cool information to your consumers because this is a time where the family is going to be together. Check it out. How many of your children are on fall break right now? My kids are on fall break right now. Some of them are on this long ass fall break. I don't recall ever getting a fall break when I was a kid, but that's neither here nor there. Like, what are the things to do? What are the things to do to keep the kids busy and active? How do you still work, but have the kids home? There's all kinds of things that you guys can be talking about. So what information are you providing to your audience right now that's going to talk about this amazing season that we're in? What videos are you dropping this week? Who are the videos targeting? Who wants, uh, who wants to share their insights from last week? And we'll forget that last part. But what videos are you guys posting this week? Who are they out going out to? Like, I want you guys to really think about this and, and be mindful. You're walking in. This is your new marketing campaign from Monday to Sunday. You should have a general idea or consensus or, or, or at least a thought track of what you're going to create for this week. Deal of the week, you guys. I want to stay on this for a moment. How many of you are continuously, routinely sending out a deal of the week email. Please raise your hand if you are doing that, because I would like to hear from you and how you are compiling that. So I'm going to go to Kelly. Kelly, I think you had a hand up. I know Mel does this. I know a couple other people do this, but Kelly, Kelly, how are you compiling the information every single week? And what are you determining to be your deal of the week that you're offering? This is my creative side. So I always have a lot of fun with the newsletters. And for me, they're always a little bit different. 
but I do have a main um, layout that I like to follow. And I include books that I'm reading. I include personal wins and personal stories too. And I make it a very personable newsletter that has a lot of information too. Stuff that I've been experiencing in the market and I'll look up more information, add in different links and whatnot. Kelly, Kelly, let's do this. I'm going to give you share screen rights. Can you pull up your most recent, even if it's, you know, dropping this week, can you just pull up your most recent so everyone can see it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. So I just gave you share screen rights because I'm sure people are curious. And, and this is, you guys are marketers. The best marketers are the ones that win. So put your marketing hat on and think about all the things that are happening around us and start putting those into your newsletters, into your emails, and into your video campaigns. All right, so Kelly, go ahead and it will come up in a second. It's really slow. Oh. If it doesn't work, it, it doesn't work. You can send it to me and then um, I could pull it up on my side. Okay, yeah. All right, cool, so we'll, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, there it is, okay. we're back. Maybe this is really slow. Sorry about that. It's okay. Sorry, right. it was impromptu, so I should have given you a heads up. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so slow. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all right. If it doesn't oh work, uh. All right, cool. So I send this out to a lot of people. I send this out to like 1,300 people. For the people that don't know, how did you compile your list? I just made Kelly, it. You're, you're... I just lay, I made okay. a layout and created it. No, no, no. How did you get the emails of the people that we this is going out to? Right, I'm going to stop oh, her sharing. My previous job, I... Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> it's um, all good. Can you hear me now? I can. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. So my... Oh, okay. I don't know, but my... Can you guys hear me? All right, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly we're, we're, we're going to move on because oh, it's shoot. very, okay. very spotty. On my end, it's not working. Kelly, oh. here's what I want you to do. Yeah. Hold on, stop back for one second. Yeah. All I want you to do is send me the link to your deal of the week, and then that way I can share it on my end. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Anybody else have a deal of the week that they are sh that they want to share? They have a template that they're using. I don't even care if it's a very raw email that you guys are sending. Deal of the week, Panol. Deal of the week, Brentwood. Deal of the week, Hercules. Wherever you are, does anybody I else have one. one that they're sending up? Let's go, Jessica. Okay, let me just. Pull it up first. Um, yeah. So what I do is I create a flyer in Canva. And my computer is being slow too. <laughs> All right, one moment. Just both of you guys tell the neighbors to get the high speed internet. That way it's faster, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found it. I found it. Okay. All uh, right, cool. Let's go. Okay. Let me share my screen. All right, we're in. We're in, you guys. <laughs> okay. This is what mine looks like. All right, cool. So so deal of the week, 1,200 square foot, four bedroom, one bath, hey word. Uh, price reduction. Ooh, okay, cool. So you compile this and when does it go out? On Mondays, typically. I mean, I don't have a set date, um, but it could be like a Monday or a Tuesday. All right. And so what is the form of delivery? Are you using MailChimp? Or are you sending it in an email? How are you getting this out to the people? MailChimp. MailChimp. And how large is the audience? Um, I have about 300 people in MailChimp. Nice. Now, have you, how long have you been doing this? I just started. 
like okay maybe a month ago yeah okay cool and has anybody raised their hand yet no Mm -mm. all right that's cool i also posted on instagram too like on my instagram stories do you do a video on this as well no yeah i think that this would be a really good video especially if it was a green screen but i love this and the reason why you chose this as a deal of the week is because of the price reduction correct yes yeah the price reduction Yeah. So when you think about this, when you think about how can I impact somebody else? Well, the impact of this is that it's a home that has had a price reduction. So I can put this on Instagram. I can put this on Facebook. I could create a video. I could send this in my MailChimp. And now I have impacted my audience because this actually does something for them. So I absolutely love this. You guys, the deal of the week works. It might not work right away. You guys have to give it some time to let it get some legs. And the people are going to always know that they can go to that email or watch that video to find a deal. And then all of a sudden you post something that hits for somebody because they're looking for a deal in that market. You guys, it is a, a, a absolute game changer. Highly recommend that you put this in your flow. Anybody else have a deal of the week email that they're sending out similar to uh, what Jessica and Kelly are doing? So here's what I want you to do. Here's the, here's the encouragement and here's the push for this Monday morning. Go into your MLS, run some simple comps, see what is what is listed. Um, what has had a price reduction and find those opportunities. And it doesn't matter, you guys. It is just you showing the consumer that you scour for opportunities, right? Go look in Pinole, go look in Walnut Creek, go look in Oakland, go look in Sacramento, whatever market that you want to serve. I promise you, there is a deal of the week. Maybe there's a fixer upper. Maybe there's a, 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 you know, a teardown. I, I don't know, you guys, but I promise you this. If you scour, you'll find a deal. And then you just post about it. And then you put that across multiple verticals. You're always going to be the known as the person that has something that not everyone else has or has found. So, because look at the screen, not everyone raised their hand. So not consumers aren't seeing a lot of deals of the week. This is something that is relatively new over the course of the last couple of years. So put this into your flow. So let's do this. Let's start wrapping the session. I'm going to go around the room. I'm going to hear some key takeaways from people on the call today. I appreciate everybody's contributions. Let's go Oliver, then we'll go Ariel. I want to hear from you guys. Oliver, talk to me about key takeaways from today and what are you committed to accomplishing this week in your business? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so actually I was writing down, oh, excuse me, writing down, I have a, a real plan. And so I'm going to do, because I'm committed to do three reels a week now. So one of them is going to be deal of the week. <clears throat> uh, the second one's going to be a market update and or win. And then the third one's going to be something personal, you know, with my family so I could connect with uh, my consumers. I love this. I, I have a quick question for you. So what city do you live in, Oliver? I live in Roner Park. Roner Park. So when you think about Roner Park, when you think about Santa Rosa, Windsor, and then all the way up to Healdsburg, what is the most expensive market out of those four? Uh, Windsor. Windsor over Healdsburg? Well, actually, I don't go too much to Healdsburg. Okay. All right. So the market that you serve is predominantly Rona Park in Santa Rosa? Correct. Yeah. Okay. When does the music happen in Santa Rosa? Music in the park? Is that over? I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. What about Windsor? They do the music in the town green there. They do, yeah. I'm not 100% sure either. What about Healdsburg? <laughs> I, I don't go up to Healdsburg. Okay. All right. But your consumers do. And, and here's the thought. like When you think about Petaluma, Roner Park, Santa Rosa, Windsor, Healdsburg, like, what is it like living there? What is, it, what is an average house sell for in that market that's a three bedroom two bath for a family where are the best schools in roner park santa rosa windsor healdsburg all the way up to geyserville why is downtown penaluma such a really cool place to go eat and hang out and have food and have pizza and go to the mystic theater and go watch a cool show like like what are all the things that are happening in sonoma county now mind you guys i have an affinity towards sonoma county because i used to live there but i'm just thinking oliver like These are all really, really good ideas for videos. And think like, 
Where's the best place to go trick or treating if you had to narrow it down? Do, are they doing something in Petaluma? Oh, Petaluma, yeah. where's the greatest places? And like, so you know, those are the types of videos that I think that will give you even more ammunition as you're thinking about your reels for the week if you're doing three a week. Like, there's some rich content in your surrounding area and it's beautiful. It is fucking beautiful. And what I would encourage you to do is tell the story of River Road. And what River Road was at one time, it was a train track that went through that road. It was never even a road when it first originated. And they would take fish from the ocean and then they would bring it on a train to different distributors and they would use the one as a route. So, and or excuse me, the one-on-one as a route. There's so much history there, bro. Like you can go and create this catalog and be known as the Sonoma County, County Realtor and just continue to outshine and outpace and continue to do what you're doing using the booth, bro. I just wanted to fill you some up with some thoughts because you got a lot of opportunity where you are a lot. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Good stuff. Ariel, let's go to you. Let's go. Key takeaways and one thing that you're committed to in your business this week, rain, snow or shine, how or high water you're going to do it. Um, I'm going to be visiting the office, I think, a little bit this week, um, trying to make some content. I did meet up with Jakara there on Friday, um, which was really nice. She's my new accountability partner. So I think that was a good step. Um, I've been kind of struggling balancing my like freelance work with, you know, prioritizing building up my social media and the real estate stuff. So I think I'm going to spend a little more time um yeah i mean i did like a brand board and stuff like that so just creating content Ooh, i like it so tell me a little bit about what this brand board is is it just your ideas and kind of putting stuff together just a brand board like colors fonts looks so that i can kind of have all my content look um you know seamless kind of the same and organized beautiful and where are you building the brand board uh just in canva I kind of just saw Very. a template that was there and <laughs> I'm going to expand off of that. Okay, cool. I love it. I love it. Um, I love the process. Good stuff. And looking forward to seeing you in your office. JJ, we'll go to you. Uh, rapid fire, big dog. Let's have you go off of mute. Tell us what your takeaways are and one thing you're committed to in your business this week. Consistency, man. Consistency, consistency. I don't care how boring you are, or how fun you are. If you're consistent, you'll be successful. Um, and what am I doing? I'm actually uh, starting up a, a Spanish-speaking um, information program for people to, of course, buy multiple unit properties. Man, so you're, are you starting a group, you said? Yeah, I went, I went, we did a, uh, the East Bay Rental Housing Association did a thing this weekend. Um, and there was a, as usual, a huge lack of... Uh, Latino and uh, African American, uh, young African American. There's a lot of older uh, investors, but there's literally maybe a handful went that was under thirty. And so I'm back to stressing out that none of these people <laughs> are looking at this as a, as a proper investment vehicle if they're looking at investments at all. And so obviously, Spanish speaking, uh, predominantly Spanish speaking people have even less access. So I'm going to focus in on on helping you know get all that stuff together, like through NACA and and other alternative programs. Man, I absolutely love this, and this is right in your lane. So I absolutely love it. So really great stuff, you guys. Remember, this is Monday morning. This is your opportunity to say, you know what, I'm going to go out and just. I'm going to impact some people today and I'm going to impact people this week. And you guys all have the same exact opportunity. And we have this, this vessel and we have these booths and you have this team and you have your amazing voice to get out there and impact somebody. Because I promise you this, you might write something today that will change somebody, make them think and feel in a different way. They might see your video and be like, damn, Oliver, I didn't know about all those things damn, that's the person I want to help me buy my house because that's an expert, right? And so you guys have to think that you all have this amazing reach. Now you have to really tap into that. There's nothing good about talent that goes unwasted, right? It's just, you You guys all have a voice. And so use your voice, go out there and impact lives today. I really appreciate all the contributions at a very high level. Congratulations on all your wins. Go out there and make more wins this week. If you need me, let me know. I'm gonna encourage you if you're needing some additional help, 
book a coaching call with me. That way we can really dive into your business, look at some opportunities for you to improve and some polishing points and also, you know, operate in some truth. So you guys have an amazing, amazing week. We are going to be here in the office today, really planning out the rest of our year in 2025. So I'm excited for today. We're going to be locked in this room for about five hours today, six hours probably. But you guys have an amazing, amazing week. If you need anything, please reach out. And as always, keep it moving towards your dreams, goals, and vision. Peace.